Hi, this is Tim from DTools. Thanks for checking out this video on the setup for SI2015, a data-driven application that will help you streamline the way you do your system estimates, uh, system design, and project management. I'm going to walk you through the quick setup tab. This is where you're going to set up the application for your first use. I'm going to take you through these top three items. First is going to be to enter your company information. If you have a logo, go ahead and enter it here. Any information you add here will be shown on all of the documentation through the system. So your client documentation, such as proposals, contracts, scope of work statements, through to your management reports. Anything here, this is what will show up on your reports. You can also set up multiple users and resources of the application. Uh, DTools is a multi-user application, which means you can set up multiple users throughout your organization. Uh, and you can control permissions. You can set up user groups. And you can control who can see and do what within the application. So you can set up as many of these user groups as you wish and apply them to your team. We also have an out-of-the-box integration with QuickBooks. So if you're a QuickBooks user, you can map your company QuickBooks file to DTools, and then you'll be able to push things right from within DTools right into QuickBooks um, as either an estimate or a purchase order. This will eliminate double data entry and ensure that you can do your invoicing and purchasing right from within QuickBooks. This saves a lot of time. Clients and contacts. Not going to spend too much time here. Just understand that you can import clients and contacts from CSV files, you can import them from Outlook, you can import them from QuickBooks, or you can enter them on your own. This area under catalog, this is really uh, the main focus of DTools, is that everything you do in DTools is based on product information. So you're going to build a catalog of the products that you sell and ultimately install. There's a number of ways to get products in the catalog. You can import price lists. If you have spreadsheets, you can import spreadsheets. Uh, you can enter products on your own. Or you can download products from our data library. DTools has a very robust data library featuring thousands of manufacturers, hundreds of thousands of SKUs. Uh, this data is really what drives the system, and the type of information that we track has to do with um, product images, descriptions, model number, and then we go further and start tracking things like dimensions, and in many cases, inputs and outputs. This information is critical so you can sell the job and then engineer the job and ultimately install it. If you look on the left, Everybody here in green, these are our MVP partners, which means this data is free to you when you purchase the software. We work directly with all of these manufacturers. They provide us with data for the system so that you're always working with up-to-date product information. We also have uh, thousands of other manufacturers that are part of our data subscription plan. Uh, so if you're in our data subscription plan, you get access to literally thousands and thousands of manufacturers. So we'll go back to our MVP partners and let's say I'm looking for some Noble Fidelity speakers. I can go ahead and put in a manufacturer and I'll say in this case Noble Fidelity um, and I want some in-ceiling speakers. So now these are the speakers that I sell so I'm going to go ahead and right click and download these into my local catalog. Anything that I download is now part of my catalog and the type of information that we track has to do with, you know, category, subcategory, will often have a product image or if you're adding your own information, as long as you have the manufacturer and the model number, we could go out and get more information. So we could do a quick Google search if we don't like the image. If we need more copy, we can go out and do a search there. We'll also track the short description and a long description, and you can determine what you would like to see on your proposals. When it comes to pricing, for many of our products we will provide MSRP pricing, but we provide you with very powerful tools to manage your catalog. So you see here I can track up to 12 levels of pricing. The other thing I want you to notice is that we assign every product to a phase of the project, in our case either rough-in, trim, finish, or programming, and we will have estimated labor hours or an estimated time to install for every piece of equipment. 
This is important because in DTools, we will automatically calculate the installed price for equipment as you add them to a project. So to set our pricing, uh, we give you the ability to create price rules. And price rules allow you to perform operations to a single product or any number of products within your system. So you'll know here that, uh, that I've got a number of price rules that I've created. And let's say that my cost for these speakers is 40% off of MSRP. So the rule I've created is to apply a discount percentage, in this case 40%, and I'm going to take it from MSRP, and I'm going to apply it to my unit cost. Once I do that, you'll see that I've set my cost. So now, if I want to set my price, I can go ahead and I can say, well, I just want to mark it up 50% from cost. So now the rule is I'm going to add a percentage, in this case 50%, from my unit cost, and I'm going to apply it to my unit price. Once I do that, I've now set the price for my product. So I can set my labor rates by phase. So when I add this to a job, I see that I've got the price that I've set for the equipment. And since this speaker takes a half an hour of labor to install, I've got a half an hour of what I've set for finished labor here. So when I add these two together, this becomes my estimated installed price. So that when I'm building a project in our system, all I really need to do is start building a bill of materials and we're going to automatically calculate the installed price. The other thing we can do is we can add accessories to any product. So let's say I wanted to add some speaker cable as an option. I could go to my catalog and I can say I need some speaker cable and I'll say I need some let's say Liberty cable and I want some of this 14.2 speaker cable. I can go ahead and add that. And when I bring this in, these boxes are checked. That means it's an optional accessory. So that whenever I add this to a job, a dialog will come up and it'll ask me if I want to include the speaker wire. And I'll say yes. So I've shown you a single product, but anything that we do can be applied to any number of products in the catalog. So if I go back to my setup here, Here's where I can assign my labor. One of the ways that we can work is to set up our labor rates by project phase. So here you see that I've got rough in, trim, finish, and programming. So I can go ahead, set my cost and my price, and then this gets applied when I add the product to the job. So what you're going to want to do is come here and set your labor rates, and then when you apply them, when I do a project, this will automatically calculate the labor. The next video we'll go through will talk about starting a project. <laughs>